Hello guys and welcome to this first working with Photoshop tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make this cool background. First you need to create a new file. Go to File, New, or press Ctrl N. Alright, I will name it Background. The width of my background has to be 1280 by 800 pixels because that's my background size, my screen size and I leave the background content transparent and you can also save this preset if you want to make backgrounds more often you click on save preset call it background and the next time you need it just click here and select background and here it is press ok and there's your first layer what you need to do is select the gradient tool over here or if there is a paint bucket uh, click it, hold and select the gradient tool and release then what is important change the mode to difference so no, normally it's a normal but now click on it go to difference and just add some gradients to it from left to right and right and left and you'll get this this cool light dark effect now press ctrl alt u where you see the, this box and colorizing preview has to be on and then just play with some colors I'll just leave it this way then create a new layer then select layer 1 go to filter render lens flare then you see this box coming up here you can change the lens flare I'll go for the 50 to 300 millimeter zoom and you can position it everywhere I'll position it here you can change the brightness of the lens flare I'll do 119% and you'll get this now with layer 2 selected go to the text tool the horizontal type tool then type anything you like then Click on the text in the middle, Ctrl A to select everything. Then you see here the text size. Uh, hold Ctrl so you see the arrows and slide to the right or to the left to adjust the size. I think this is good. Then you can hold Ctrl and click and drag the text in a good position. Click on the layer once and you'll see it. It's now a good size. Then you could change the mode to overlay or just arrow up or down. It's just experimenting with what you like and what looks nice. Then if you done that, Ctrl J with this layer selected, with the text layer. Then it will copy it. Turn the visibility off of the bottom layer, the top layer, right click, rasterize type and Ctrl T to transform it, right click, click distort, so bring this up, bring this up, maybe this, or this. I'll think I'll leave it this way. Looks pretty cool. You, I could have always uh, changed the lens flare to the bottom here. But it looks pretty nice and I hope you liked it. And I hope to see you soon in the next tutorial.